Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create grids, guides, and gutters, and we're even going to gutters and show you how to use margins and all that good stuff. It's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm in Illustrator 2023. Let's start from scratch. First step, go to File, New, and we're going to create a project. Click on Web, and in this case, we're going to go with a 1920 by 1080, but you can select any size. doesn't matter. All right, we've got our alpha new, ourselves a new little artboard here. The next step, go to the left side, grab the rectangle tool. When you do that, I'm going to now create a rectangle, and it doesn't matter what the fill or the stroke is, I just want it to cover the entire image. And you know when I let go, the new rectangle is the whole thing, because you'll see here under properties it says 1920 by 1080. We need this rectangle because this is how we're going to go ahead and start creating the grids and the guides. Okay, good. Hopefully you're following along with me. Now we're going to go up here to the top. We're going to go to Object. Go down to path and then under path you're going to see uh, where is it da, 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 da. split into grid that's the one i'm looking for here's the important part we can now split that rectangle without the rectangle this wouldn't work uh, but we can split that into rows and columns now depending on the type of work uh, you're looking to do i'm going to go ahead and create I don't know, let's create three columns and we're going to add in a gutter. Once you start creating the columns, you get the option to create a gutter. So I'm going to create a gutter of, let's go with something like 15 pixels. Okay, perfect. And let's go with three rows. Although if you're doing web work, you probably don't need the rows. But anyways, just to show you the technique, click on OK and presto. Now we've got ourselves a grid and we've got ourselves some gutters here in the middle. Now I'm going to show you another technique. This is optional, of course. I'm going to go back and grab my selection tool. And you're going to see here that I've got everything selected, but watch this. Oh, this should be 1920. So we've got a little problem there. So we're going to go to 1920 by 1080. But here's the thing. What happens if I change this to instead of 1920? I'm going to go make it 1890. This means it's 30 pixels. When we do that, we can actually see here that I've created a basically a gutter on the left side and the right side. Again, this is optional, but I want you to know how to do it. And the same for the height. If I wanted a pixel gap at the top, I'd go 1050. And that basically means that we've got 15 pixels on the top, 15 pixels on the bottom. This is an optional step, but I wanted to show you that in case you guys are not able to get the exact grids and gutters that you're looking for. Okay, good. Now, if I click out, you'll see here that these are all little black boxes. That's not what we want. I'm going to reselect everything. And now I'm going to head back up here and I'm going to go to view. I'm going to go to guides and then I'm going to go to make guides. When I do this, they're going to get that scion color and they're going to be guides now. So you don't see it yet, but when I click out, presto, now they're guides. So we've got grids, we've got guides, we've got gutters, we've got a little bit of a margin here. We pretty much have everything you could look for or use inside Adobe Illustrator. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.